Hello and welcome back to the Royal Legion SMP series, where in the last episode we were with Spice Mines and Spirit Caller and Parody, and we found the stronghold. Actually, spoiler alert, I guess, we found two. <laughs> so if you haven't seen that episode, be sure to go ahead and check it out because it's pretty cool. It was quite an adventure, so I hope you will enjoy it if you haven't seen it already. But let us go up and see how the tree plantation looks like now. I haven't been on much since then, actually at all, I don't think. But this is how our tree plantation looks so far. Which is exactly what I wanted with the weed. The effect with the weed and everything. Um, I'm thinking of just adding water here as well. Just to make it look better. And maybe around here. I don't know, I, I don't know about this area over here. But so far it's working great. And I have plenty of wood, so everything is good there. Now I do have a project for today, but before that I guess I want to show you the tunnel that we dug so we can easily get to the stronghold from the nether. So let me just go through my portal because it is right where we, where my portal is actually. Because guess where we landed? The portal to the stronghold actually ends up in my nether fortress which is not far away at all. So, it is in that direction, my nether fortress is in that direction, we made a tunnel. We made a tunnel down there, our plan is to make this tunnel entire out of nether rag or nether brick. Or some sort of, along those lines anyways. And we also um, made the tunnel going back to the spawn area wider that way. Um, but I guess let me show you the, the tunnel at the stronghold, so if we go over here and go a little ways. So we did kind of did two things actually. We made a way for me to get to my fortress easier and for everyone to get to the stronghold easier. Um, I'm still not quite sure when we will be doing the end dragon fight, but I'm pretty sure it's pretty soon. Get over here. I guess this section isn't really done. Ooh, guest. If I can hit it. There we go. Yes, guest here. Perfect. Exactly what I needed also for this um, episode as well. I will not open my inventory because you will be thinking, what is going on? I will do that when we start the project, but I just really want to show you the tunnel right here leads to this place and the rest is just my, um, the rest of my fortress and someone took some stuff from it. <laughs> and I guess let's just go through and take a look at the other side. So here we are at the stronghold, we got a door there, we got a door here leading out to some caves and a ravine basically. Cool stuff, cool stuff. Going back and down here is the end portal itself. Which hopefully we will be going through really soon. I did not notice these, pretty cool. But let us now go back and get started on the project because it will be something that we will be utilizing for the end dragon fight. Let's go. Alright, so it is now time to utilize this area over here. Let me open my inventory up. So what we're gonna be building today is a potion automation brewer thingy. thingy. <laughs> also as you can see my armor is pretty beaten up. I need a new, I at least need a new chest plate for fighting the end dragon. Um, Enter dragon, but let me just put this stuff away. There we go. All right. So, um, yeah, we're gonna be building that today. I thought I heard footsteps. Let me just convert that and these. There we go. So for this, we're gonna be needing 16 droppers, 20 harpers, and 32 restore repeaters, and a little bit of redstone. And we are of course also gonna be needing a brewing stand. So let's take a brace, brace rod, blaze rod and make a brewing stand real quick, just like that, boom, done. We are also going to be needing two extra chests, which we got here, perfect. And we will also be needing a lever, which I also got there, perfect. So, everything should be able to fit behind this area. Also, we are gonna be needing two, sorry, 16 item frames. I don't even think I got that leather. Um, yeah. Oh, there we go. Okay, perfect. So 16 leather for 16 item frames. There we go. And boom, 16 item frames. 
and a bunch of building blocks. I could just leave the wood, but meh. I'm just gonna keep it as wood as we are doing an acacia themed build. So, everything is gonna be in here. And we're gonna start off with building the actual wall here, which is going to be three tall. So let's just get this all the way over. And you know what, let's replace my pickaxe with my axe as I will not be needing the pickaxe for much. Let's move this over here until there are three blocks remaining. So just like that. And do that. And we need to place the brewing stand right here in fact. But actually we can. You know what, let's place it one block up. That way we will um, not be needing, we will be needing 19, 19 hoppers. Um, actually, uh, eh. yeah, we can make it work. We'll make it work. We'll need that extra hopper anyways, actually. So that's good. So we're going to place that there and that is good, basically going to be our water, water bottle supply leading down to this. And we can pretty much just put that up there. And for that, of course, we're going to be needing some stairs. That is not part of my normal design, but it is style. <laughs> it is style, so let's just make a couple of stairs. There we go. And you know what? I will be needing my pickaxe to get through to the other side. There we go. Should always have a backdoor on these machines. Let's place it like that. So we can still open it. And it still looks pretty good. And then just lead some locks over I think to keep the theme of everything so nope nope bad lock there we nope <laughs> nope this is actually kind of difficult you have to hit it exactly there we go all right perfect so now we can place a few torches up here to prevent the monsters from spawning all right that doesn't look too bad so what we are now going to need is placing all the item frames, which is going to be representing all of the different potion types that we can make. And I'm not sure if I made it one too long or what is going on here. But so far, everything is going according to plan. What we are also going to be needing is a bunch of buttons. But I do not want those to be acacia. I believe they go... You know what, let's do the back side first. Let's do that because we're going to need the hopper set stuff and the repeaters. So let's get that out and do that. So there's going to be blocks here, 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 here. Break that torch and there. You know what? I think I am going to use some sort of other building block because this is going to be taking a lot of the... Um, of my wood. So just place repeaters over here. This can be a little bit tricky. Eh. Eh. There we go. Perfect. All at one take. All right. Nice. Then we need another row. Just like that. I'm waiting with this one because I just need to recheck my schematics. But this should be good so far. All right. And then, yeah, I'm going to get some other building blocks. One second. All right, so now what we're gonna do with my cobblestone, we're gonna place that here, and that will be placed like this. We can actually save a couple of repeaters by switching between them. So what we could do is remove that, remove that, every other place redstone dust. That is actually doable. See, I make a plan and then change it because I figure out something else. So now we are saving 16 repeaters. I have plenty of redstone and stuff, so I'm not too bothered with not having uh, used those. Right, so now you place these droppers. Did I just say dispensers? I don't think I did. But you want to place these um, droppers here on top of the cobblestone because they will then get powered and they will then lead... Um, items into the hoppers which is what we're gonna be doing next because we need droppers going here 
so we need a dropper to go in there. I don't know if it actually has to be. Hmm. Seems like it has to go from the from the top, but that's fine because then we just remove this bit up here, right there. Place it at the top. Place redstone in there. Boom. Goes in. Perfect. So now we just basically want to continue this down. And I think I'm actually one hopper low here. To be honest with you. Yeah, I'm one hopper low. Let me just make one real quick. Well, that is pretty pretty much everything done with it when we have placed that last hopper. Um, apparently we did not need this. Because we will be needing a redstone signal to come through here. Let's place our lever right here, actually. And then we'll redirect that redstone current in a second. But let me just get a, a, an extra hopper. Got my extra hopper, had one in the chest. So let us just go over and place one. Boop, there we go. Perfecto. And let's place all the buttons. They will be at the bottom, just like that. Perfect. So now we just need to redirect this to go and turn on this actually. So let's use, um, so we need it to go up. I think that might actually do it. Because if we do this, if we put an item in here, it's gonna go through and down into the brewing stand. But if we quickly flip, flip the, flip the, uh, nope. Okay, that's not gonna happen. If we flip the, oh, it doesn't work. Okay, we will be needing a little bit more than that. All right, so this will be turned on. So moving that over here. Nope. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have both my eggs and my pig eggs down here, okay? Put that there and then put this here and that there. So that's gonna power this hopper, preventing it from dispensing the item. So now the machine has been turned off. So now we remove that. And that is basically the build done. That was actually a lot faster than I had expected. I've only been recording for 15 minutes. And that is even when with breaks and interruptions and stuff <laughs> that you don't get to see. Um, okay, so that's pretty much it. Now it does look a bit eh back here. So we can do some stuff to pretty that up. Um, for example, we can use a stair there and we can use Another stair here if we wanted to, just because I have them, might as well use them for something. And if we just convert this one, we can place this over here. Just to make it look nice from the outside. We can see a little bit of machinery. In fact, we can put one more um, block right here to isolate it a bit better. So like that. Yeah. You know what? It's actually better with a full block here. Boom. Let's just use full block. Nope, I cannot use a full block here because that will block the rest of the current. There we go. Yep, that'll work. I think that looks pretty cool. Can we place any more to prevent? No, not really. I guess we can place one right here and another one here. And I guess one more here. We don't need, we don't, you don't need to do this if you're building this but it's just to make it look a bit nicer from the outside. It does make the build a little bit more complicated, but it looks nicer when you're looking from it, uh, f at it from outside. All right, so now the rest is just to, I guess, test the system. So I don't have many potion ingredients myself. They're most at the shop. The main, uh, the basic idea is to then put the potion ingredients that you want at that place in the item frame and then Put that potion ingredient in the dropper behind the button. So, and that is pretty much it. That is pretty much everything there is to it. So let us test with some nether wart. Um, 
I'm gonna place some nether wart at the first item frame right there like that and I will be placing some nether wart in here just a stack for example I will then deactivate that so it goes directly into the potion brewer and it should be there in any second should go through the system no okay so that means we have done something wrong so let's go back troubleshooting okay so it did not receive the redstone signal which it should have so let's go back here and see what's happening okay so that leads in perfectly um oh i see actually i see it's a, it's a simple fix, fix actually it's a simple fix i made a mistake it's um oh boy <laughs> This could be difficult. Place, oh wait, yes, place you, place you. So basically, the button is powering that block, but that does not power the repeater. So we just need to move the buttons, um, switch the buttons, place with the item frame. That's actually everything we have to do. So let me just get these off. All right, so those are the buttons. I replaced them with some stone ones. And I think I want the item frames down here, as that will be easier to see and notice. There we go. All right, so now we should see that there should be another ward right there. So that is perfect. And if we switch this lever off and do it again, you will see that it gets stuck right here. It will not go further so we can prevent the system from making potions if we want to. So let's just re-add those two. All right. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So now we just have to put in our ingredients. Put that in there. All right. So I guess now I can always put the rest of the potion ingredients in. Let us test it. So I want a thing there. I want some fire resistance. I want it timed and in a second here, I also want it gunpowder. I also want it, uh, let's see, this is where things get tricky. I will, I will probably rearrange it off camera, but for now, this will do. Because you also have, you do have to do it in the correct order. You can just click the restore first and then the other thing after. I also want them to be splash potions. Brew away. Oh, I guess we, what is the stone doing there? But as you can see, the nether ward goes down, then the magma green, then the redstone, and then the gunpowder. So now I just need a bunch of, well, water bottles. That's gotta take some smelting. All right, I now got four glass. That should be enough to make three bottles just for this test. I'm gonna quickly make a hole in the ground, take my water bucket, refill these, take it again, and then get that, put that there. And I'm gonna put the water bottles in there, and that hover is basically going to keep this filled at all times, and that will just feed right down, and we can close off the system so nothing else gets down there and interrupts the process. That is pretty cool, and that's pretty much everything. Um, these are going to my shop, let me just put those in my random chest for now. Oh, there we go. One is done. Now we do have to manually take them out. There's no um, system for them to be retracted automatically. So there's a little bit of manual labor that has to be done, but uh, that's just how that is. And that is done as well. I'm just adding a door here so I can get behind it and refill and stuff. Uh, I guess, why not? Actually, I think oak door would look best. So let's take that. But I will tidy this place up. I'll prob probably add a bunch of this over here and I'll rearrange that to what I need. And um, yeah, that'll be that. But I hope you enjoyed this episode because that is all I have for this project. You know what? I should outro with this behind me. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, remember to leave a like, comment, and share with your friends. And if you're new to this channel, remember to subscribe. And uh, yeah, be sure to check everyone else's channels out. Link down below in the description. Be sure to join my Discord server. Link down below. And follow me on Twitch and Twitter. Um, 
yeah, that's pretty much it. I just need a chest here so I can store the potions that are done away. Because I will not be adding that to the story system. There we go, fire resistance potions. Lovely. So I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you next time. Have a nice day. Bye. Bye.